So in the trunk, you're going to locate the battery, which is right here with a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to disconnect this negative cable. Make sure it does not slide back and hit. I'm going to remove the air pump, which is three mounting bolts right here, 13 millimeter socket. Break them all free. Disconnect the electric connector. There's two tabs right here. And the air pump hose, which is up there. So I'm using a just pocket screwdriver to undo those little tabs. Pull it down. I'm going to undo the starter solenoid wires first. I'm going to do the small ignition wire first. Eight millimeter socket. Break that free. washer off. I am a stickler about putting them right back to where I got them. That way I know where they are and I'm not searching for them. Just put them on loosely. Now I'm going to take off the positive battery cable to the solenoid which is a 13 millimeter socket. Washer and turn that back on. So there's two mounting bolts on the starter, one here and one on the opposite side. You're going to need an extension, but I'm going to loosen this one up first, 15 millimeter socket. And I get my extension. So with my 3 inch extension and a 15 swivel, 3 8 drive. Bring it up over the top here. Let's see if I can find that bolt. There we go. Okay. I'm on it. I'm going to put my ratchet on. Okay. Now I'm going to reach up there. Hopefully it comes out. And there it is. So here is the crank sensor right behind the starter. So we're going to disconnect the connector, pull that tab out, and pull the harness out. Now the mounting bolt is in the back of it. It's a Little six millimeter bolt. See it better like that. And that takes a 10 millimeter socket. So I'm going to get a socket and put it right on there. Let's see if we can take this bolt out. Now well, let's see if that sensor will come out. Nice. I'll wiggle it back and forth because it has an O-ring on it. But I like to use my little pocket screwdriver. Just kind of help it along.
So before I put the sensor in, I'm going to clean the area just a little bit. Try not to get any chunks down into the engine compartment. That goes right to the crank. I just want to make a clean surface. And I put some oil on the O-ring, so it'll go in a little bit smoother. It pops it right down, nice. Now I'm going to put the mounting bolt back. I'm just going to bottom it out because we're just going to torque it to the factory spec. So now that I snugged it down, I'm going to torque it to the factory specs, 10 millimeter socket, and it is 71 inch pounds. I'm going to take the connector, reconnect it until it clicks. Now I'm going to put the starter back. And that bolt is already in on the top in the casing of the starter. So I'm going to grab the bottom starter bolt, put that in. That way, don't put it all the way in because you don't want it to be snug. You want to make sure that you can line that bolt up on the top. You really can't see it, so you're going to do it with an extension and a socket. I'm just going to put this bolt just enough so that the starter won't drop out on me. Now I'm going to get my extension with my 15 millimeter socket on there and I'm going to see if I can locate that bolt. So I found it. I put my mirror up there, give it a quick little look. It's definitely threaded in. I think I'm just going to use my air ratchet or my electric ratchet, shall I say. I'm just going to snug it up so I can torque it. extension up there and then I'm going to snug the bottom one I'm going to get my torque wrench and the torque specs is 37 foot-pounds I'm going to do the top one because one of my sockets on there so 37 foot-pounds put the battery cables back onto the starter and always put the positive cable first then the accessory wires so the actual solenoid has a little guide for that to lock in on then I'll put the auxiliary wire lock washer and the nut I'll hold that cable all the way up snug up on the top and then I'll get my 13 millimeter socket and ratchet and tighten it up and I'm going to hold that cable so make sure it doesn't round around come around and remember this is a starter solenoid so that is a copper bolt in that solenoid we just want it snug and no cable movement now I can do the solenoid wire and take the Nut back off. Solenoid wire is basically goes right to the ignition, and it's always going to be a little small wire. Right there. And I'll put the washer and nut back on. And do the same. I'm going to snug that down. My eight millimeter socket. Really 
really sensitive. Don't snap that. So we're going to put the air pump back. It has two hoses, connectors on it. Just going to go down, connect, clip on. Okay. I'm going to put mounting bolts in. That's three total. One on this side. Plug in the electrical connector. There we go. Make sure the hoses are clipped down in. And 13 millimeter socket, and we're just going to snug these up and then we'll torque it down. So 27 foot pounds. Just going to be enough to tighten it because it's an aluminum pan. So now we can reconnect our negative battery terminal. Make sure it seats all the way down on that battery stud. And then 10 millimeter socket. And I'm gonna tighten that right up. You need two hands 